Giovanetto. I like to introduce my friend, Kevin Giovanetto. That's and correct. Kevin is, Kevin is a futurist. He's a internet philosopher and storyteller. And my friend is actually, he encouraged me to step forward and write about kindness, compassion, and empathy. And that's exactly what a lot of us are now doing on LinkedIn because of Kevin. I want to introduce you to him today. This is a true storyteller and everybody on LinkedIn and off know about this gentleman. Welcome, Kevin. Thank you so much. So good to be here, Marlene. You know what, and good uh, for you to be here as well. And, and as you know, right now, this is the month that I'm, in, I'm inviting so, you know, it, it, those individuals who are writing books for the very first time and, and those individuals who are writing, who are publishers, who just like to come on and, and reintroduce themselves. And so, and today I wanted to pretty much stop by asking you, Kevin, when you actually even started off with, with LinkedIn, uh, you were writing, you're writing your stories. What do you feel was different about you that made people want to stay focused and follow your writing? What's different? Well. I guess I come, I come from a place of kindness and I care about people. And I think that that comes through in my writing that I care about people, I care about stories. I try to create characters. Well, at first I just told stories about my own life for, for I don't know, six months or so when I first came on LinkedIn. I uh, just shared stories about my life and started you know, people started reading them and commenting and I made connections and got to know people, got to know a lot of people uh, really closely. And I was so impressed with uh, LinkedIn because people are just so kind. Um, and you don't find kindness in this world that often. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I hadn't found it on other platforms, but when I came back to LinkedIn, I'd been gone for uh, about six years off of LinkedIn and I came back and I just found this community. And then I, I got this idea. I wanted to write a, a novel, um, a science fiction novel about time travel. So I started to write it and I thought, what, what if I just posted the episodes on LinkedIn? I mean, I thought this is kind of a crazy idea, <laughs> you know, who would, who's going to write a time travel novel on LinkedIn and who's going to read it? But I just decided to start doing it. I um, created my alter ego, Michael LaSalle. My middle name is Michael. The street I grew up on was LaSalle Boulevard. So that's how I came up with the name Michael LaSalle. And he became my alter ego and my time traveler. And I was just amazed that people started reading it and started commenting on it. And it's just been so much fun. I've already written one book. Uh, I wrote Time Post Victorian England, and now I'm working on Time Post The Jazz Age. So this, this is my second book in this time travel series. And I'm planning on writing five. You plan to write five books? You said- five books. Uh Hi. Okay. Well, let me. Ask, you know what? That is a phenomenal idea you came up with. Because what better way to get feedback? And you're getting it. You're getting it right away. Because there we are coming on and looking and reading, reading the content. And uh, you know, and each day there's something different that you've done. And you are so mysterious. And your humor <laughs> is hilarious. And so, and every day when I when we when I was coming on every, each day, Kevin, I always wonder what's Kevin going to do today because I know his thinking is is already completely way out of the box, completely. And and so there, there's excitement about you. That, that's uplifting, Kevin, when you think about it each day, when people can pick, it, pick up their telephone, pick up their tablets, and they know they can read what you've written that particular day. They're looking forward to that. That's an uplifting, like you used to say, kindness that they can look forward to every day. And then you can look forward also to the feedback that you're receiving on a book that you're writing. That's right. fabulous, Kevin. I like I mean, that. How many writers get that opportunity to get feedback every day on what they're writing, on a book they're writing. Usually you think of a, a writer as going off in a corner, which is what I used to do and just write a book, you know, uh, when I did business books. But 
this is the first time I've getting, I get feedback every single day <laughs> for what I'm writing. And what, I, what I'm able to do is I, I'm sharing my uh, philosophy, experience, and insights into life through these stories. So I'm getting the opportunity to uh, share what's in my heart and my mind and things that I hope that other people want to think about. That's wonderful. You know, now just listening to what you just said about, I love how you're using your name and also your street name. That that's that's nice. And what you're doing is you can now you're, you're uh, you can reach out and you're connecting. And I was asking about the new authors that actually are even within this spotlight right now. What are some pointers that you as a writer would give people like myself, because I'm writing a book as well, as I was telling you, and there are authors who are writing their first books. What, what could you tell us? Well, uh, first of all, do it. <laughs> and uh, do it daily, if you can. You know, write every day. If you, if, you, um, if you think about it, you might want to try doing yours on, on LinkedIn posting episodes uh, I like that. Uh, because you will get feedback and it'll it'll drive you you know it'll drive you to keep writing and you know keep on track uh, because you have an audience you know you have a instant audience so I would I'd say that would be um, something mm -hmm. you might try but, but Kevin well uh, what inspired you what actually you know when you were growing up all of us have a story. What's your story? What inspired you for writing? I guess I've been writing ever since I was 10. Um, I have a vivid imagination, <laughs> as you might have been able to tell. <laughs> I have a, just a wild imagination. And I've had that ever since I was a kid. Uh, so I've just always wanted to tell stories. You know, and I've always, I've always felt like my life is a story, like I'm, I'm living a story. And, and we, we all are. We're all living a, a story. And um, I think of, you know, when I, when I get to know people, I think of them in terms of their story. Because everyone has a story. And I want to know what their story is. You know, when I meet someone, I want to know what their story is. I want to know what's behind where they're coming from, you know, what's in their heart, uh, what's in their mind, what they're thinking about. And I, I believe that everybody has an important story to tell. And I hope to encourage people to do that. Mm -hmm. hey, uh, so, so true. Did, you're, uh, did you plan to, do you, do you, do you hope to diversify your, your, your writing or will you, like you said, I know you, you love, uh, you know, science fiction, what do you plan to do in terms of genre? Do you plan to expand and maybe go into other other genres, or pretty much uh, stay consistent? Well, for, for now, I'm I'm just planning on a five a five book um, five five different iterations of this time travel. So it was Victorian London, it's the Jazz Age. Not sure where I'll, where I'll go next. I think I'm going to stay in the past for the first three or four books and maybe go to the future in the last one. Okay, okay. And um, I wanted to just uh, you know, reiterate something that you and I spoke of, of earlier. And that is that I looked at some of your, uh, the recommendations and there was a female that said that Kevin is the magic man. And I thought, I, I said, uh-huh. And she said, if you got fog, contact Kevin and he'll be able to help you to, to see your way through it. There are a lot of uh, references there as well that talked about how you really help them in business. And I uh, wanted to ask you, because you, you, you seem like such a fictional, you know, fictional type writer. How did, did you implement that into a business, into the business area, Kevin? Your, your mindset, how did you do that? 